but could the situation in Syria have been better by any degree had the U.S. gotten more involved? Yeah, you know, 2020 hindsight is, you know, quite, uh, you know, it's illuminating. We're looking in the rearview mirror uh, in terms of what could have happened based on the, the things that did happen. There's been an unfortunate turn of events over the last several years. When the Syrian uh, revolution started in the Arab Spring, there was no such thing as ISIL. Uh, ISIL was al-Qaeda in Iraq, and it was just, you know, less than a thousand individuals. There was a wave then of, of developments inside of Syria and Iraq that uh, resulted in current day Syria. No one could have envisioned that uh, in terms of the, the series of events that took place. So uh, do we uh, lament what has happened in Syria? Absolutely. Uh, if we had a chance to do it over again, would there have been some adjustments and changes? Uh, I can't speak for policymakers. I'm not a policymaker. But when I look back, uh, in light of the way things evolved, uh, I think that there could have been uh, some adjustments to some of the policies, not just by the United States, but by other countries, in order to address this question earlier on and not allow the ISILs and the Jabhat al-Nusra, the Al-Qaeda's, to gain momentum and steam and taking advantage of the destruction of that country. So not getting involved turns out to be something that's regretted. <clears throat> well, uh, I think the, the way that uh, the situation unfolded is regrettable.